morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Our Facebook Live today, my question for you is, are you standing firm? Our verse is Ephesians 6.13, continuing from last week. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand firm. Are you, you know, standing firm right now? In order to stand firm, we need God's armor to protect us. What does our armor consist of? The belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, being our shoes being shod with the gospel of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and last but not least, the sword of the spirit, which is God's word and prayer. What do all these things have in common? They're gifts from God. Our armor is not dependent on our faith or righteousness, thank God. God's word and prayer are his gifts to us, but we do need to read and meditate on it, spend time in prayer to get the full impact. Put on God's, putting on God's armor will protect you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. How are you going to arm yourself for 2020? Our recipe for today is zucchini Thai. And I'm actually going to talk you through the preparation and show you what you can do to prep for a later meal. Uh, because it doesn't necessarily, you know, this isn't something I would normally fix for breakfast. Not that that's impossible. Um, you can fix other things for breakfast than what is traditionally done. But today I'm not planning on eating it for breakfast. So uh, we're going to start actually by just prepping all of the veggies that actually go in this recipe. So like I have a quarter of a pepper, red pepper here. So I'm just going to cut this and let me go ahead and put this down so you can actually see what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is just put all of this in a bowl in the fridge so that's all ready to go for lunch, which is actually when I really actually eat this. Okay, so that's, I'm just gonna use strips on that since we're doing a stir fry. And, and then we also want a half a cup of red and half a cup of green uh, cabbage, approximately. And let me use a little bit bigger knife than that. And of course, this will make everything purple. <laughs> the full recipe makes more of a two person, which since I'm not trying to cook for two people at lunch, I'm not going to use quite that much. So, using some purple cabbage, I'd actually just gotten a half cabbage instead of getting a whole one, since I also had green cabbage. <laughs> now, on the cabbage, I'm still pulling off outer leaves on this and using them for wraps. So, I actually don't want to... This is not the way I pulled this off of here if I'm actually making a wrap from it. But instead of cutting into the head, since I'm still pulling off the whole leaves to use, I'm just going to pull off a leaf. So this leaf doesn't matter that it's not 100% intact here. Rinse it off good. And then I'm just going to cut this in strips and add it to our bowl. 
I'm kind of going in order, reverse order of the how I would actually put them in the pan when I go to cook them. Because the longer something's going to need to cook when you're doing a stir fry, the, you want to put that in the pan first. Get some broccoli out here. And I'm not only using around a cup, so I guess I'm need all of it. Enough. Let me go ahead and cut off another piece here. Let's not overdo this. Now I'm going to actually cut these down a little bit because these are definitely going to take longer to cook. But these are going to need to be one of the first things you cook because they are going to take the longest. One of the things with a stir fry is that you do have to kind of stage the stuff so that it, so everything doesn't become mush. Because one of the beautiful things with stir fry is that it actually isn't mush. <laughs> it actually does um, have some crunch to it usually. And I would also use some mushrooms, but I'm not, these are actually already sliced and I froze them because they were trying to, you know, get away from me. And so I went ahead and cut them up and put them in that. So I will add those in. Um, and then I will actually also spiralize some zucchini. Uh, and that will actually be the very last thing that goes in there. But I'm going to wait to do that till closer to the time. But in order to do this, uh, when you actually go to cook this, let me flip this up so that you're, you can actually see me again. All right, so you've cut up all the veggies. It's best, ideally, to have everything cut up or close to being cut up when you start a stir fry because it doesn't have to cook very long. Um, use either a medium pan or a wok and put them on a medium heat. Uh, start with the coconut oil and the mushrooms. Let's stir for a few minutes. Uh, add in usually the meat, especially if it's raw at this point, uh, so that you can make sure it's well cooked. Um, that's the part you want the most cooked. So you start, you know, basically with that at the beginning. Uh, and then you're going to add the broccoli because that's going to take longer. And go ahead and probably cover it uh, for a few minutes. And then add in your cabbage and your peppers and the last, you know, go ahead and let that cook, cook a few more minutes and, you know, five minutes approximately. And then last thing, top it with the uh, spiralized zucchini and then just, you know, cover it, let, you're letting it steam basically. Um, if there's not enough moisture in the pan, go ahead and add a little bit of water. Because um, sometimes, usually as you're cooking veggies, you'll get some liquid off of them. But sometimes it's not enough for the steaming. So go ahead and add a little bit more. And then cover it again until those uh, zucchini noodles start looking, not, not much, <laughs> start looking like they're getting cooked. Uh, a little bit at least, and then go ahead and pour it out into a bowl or onto a plate. Uh, you can obviously serve this with a side salad or uh, with a steamed veggie. Most of the time, I will just serve this as a one pan meal because I've already got my veggies in here, I've got my protein. Uh, you know, my bases are of uh, what I find are important for me. Fats are in there also. I've got things pretty covered just with that. And I basically have one pan dirty. And it's not something that's, you could start this in the evening. It's not something it takes very long to do. But 
if you're rushed or not sure you'll make the best choice in the evening, if you have to stop and think about it at all, you can go ahead and do this where you prep your things, uh, get everything uh, mostly cut up, and then just you can go with it for your lunch or your dinner. So anyway, that is my recipe for you today. I will be back next week with another recipe and another verse. And as I said before, Merry Christmas.